Coming up next, the matchup for the UFC lightweight division title. All right, here he is, the reigning defending undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Of course, the target is on his back. All eyes are on this man tonight as he tries to make good on yet another title defense. He has owned this division for some time. The question is, as the challenges get stiffer, can he remain the hunted? Several championship fights to his credit, a lot of 25-minute wars. As he gets older, the challenges get stiffer. We'll see how he handles this one tonight. for this lightweight fight. Volkanovski is two years the elder. He will have a one-inch reach advantage. Now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the O2 Arena in London, England. It's time! The lightweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 24 wins, one loss. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Alexander the Great Volkanovski. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 23 wins, one loss. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting. And a Mechacala Russia presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Islam Makachev. UFC belt online, guys. Protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Bridges are flowing, and we're gonna feed off this crowd tonight as usual here in the UK. You know, a lot of times you sit next to the octagon, and because we wear these headphones, you can barely hear. Only a couple months, headphones or not, you are gonna know that these people are loud, they're raucous, and they're ready to put on the show. They're ready to also cheer hard for the English fighter. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Try to establish that jab. Lands the right hand. And that's how you defend the double leg, ladies and gentlemen. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, 
reach back inside and try to find space. A oh, little single collar tie there. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, and potentially a critical takedown here. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more. up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. He's gonna start looking to try to attack a rear naked choke, and that's exactly what he's doing. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. Somehow stays in the fight. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. Aren't you good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Round two next. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loot punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, nicely done defense. Big knee to the body. Look at how fast. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here, just attempting a choke now. He's got him in a crucifix now, DC. All of that body weight on his opponent. He's got all the weight on the upper body. His feet are free to do whatever. But the arm stuck between the legs. He is now going to start dropping hammer fists. He's going to start dropping elbows. This is one of the nastiest positions in all of fighting. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. I mean, how many can he take? Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Absolutely. 
Apparently, he finishes his opponent by way of submission. as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submission. So there is the man they are all chasing at 155 pounds, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion. And how about the way he got it done tonight? A spectacular submission to finish the job. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 19 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar. And still! It's the UFC's toughest weight class. It's one of the more difficult belts to defend, but he certainly did just that here tonight. Congratulations to the undisputed UFC lightweight champion, your winner by submission. And now all that's left to do is to 